Kings, whether in real life or portrayed in fairy tales, are met with tough decisions throughout their rule and reign. What laws to enact, what to do when enemies attack, which alliances to create or break, all for the good of the kingdom. However, no king has ever been put in a situation like King Jesus was facing on this day give up his life to save his kingdom, even though those closest to him were about to betray and abandon him. This day of Holy Week is traditionally known as Monday Thursday. Monday sounds like a sad, depressing word, which does fit the context of the day, 
but the word itself actually means something commanded. It references Jesus' command to his disciples on this day where he washed their feet and commanded them to follow his example of serving others, putting others first. The disciples see this only in the context of washing feet, something that was reserved for the lowest of slaves in their culture. But Jesus has in mind for them a life that is devoted to serving others, something Jesus is about to embark on for every person in this world. Kings of old are called to serve their kingdom, but they usually enjoy luxury, profit, and comfort within their castles or palaces. Not so with King Jesus. He left his place of authority in heaven with the Father to willingly give up his life on the cross so that we could be forgiven of our sins and restored to a relationship with God once again. King Jesus did all of this knowing full well that in less than 24 hours from this time with his disciples, one would betray him and the rest would abandon him. Though he gives them the command and example of sacrifice, it will take them a while to get it. Even amidst the agonizing pain of knowing his future, the king intentionally invests in his disciples. He shares a meal with them, and he gives them a blueprint of how to remember his sacrifice for years to come. He leads them to that familiar garden where he spends time praying to the Father while they fall asleep. He diffuses the intense situation of betrayal and arrest by telling Peter to put down his sword and allow him to be turned over to the religious leaders. The decision was clear for King Jesus, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't hard. The same is true for us today, the decision to do the right thing, to treat others the way we want to be treated is extremely difficult to do when we're being abandoned, betrayed, dismissed, or even slandered. Yet as children of the king, we are called to represent the king and his kingdom values. Monday, Thursday reminds us to serve and sacrifice even if we get nothing in return, even if we are betrayed and hurt, even if we are forgotten. This may be countercultural to our American home, but we are part of a greater kingdom with a perfect king who gives us his example and command to follow. It's all a part of being connected to this king, being royalty in his eyes, trusting and following him as we love and serve those who cause us heartbreak, pain, and betrayal. Being a follower of the king is hard, but it is worth it to follow the king for whom we were created.